Hi, my name is Jeremy Browning with MLC CAD Systems. Today, I'm going to show you how to install SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2016 in a server client environment. The first thing I'm going to do is install the server components. So I'm going to browse to either my media download or my media disk, and I'm going to run the setup.exe. I'm actually going to run this elevated as an administrator. I'm going to choose server products. I'm going to choose to install the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Share Data, and I'm going to choose Next. Under Electrical Options, I'm going to hit Change. I'm going to choose to install all three, Data, the Collaborative Server, and the SQL Server. For the Data Location, I'm going to browse, and I'm going to put this either on my Root Drive C, my Data Drive, and I typically put a folder called SWE Data. I'm going to install it locally. I'm going to install all the SQL local. Uh, I'm going to choose to keep the default of TEW underscore SQL Express. This is going to be a new instance of SQL Server. If you have an existing SQL Server, you could attach this TEW SQL Express to that. I'm going to go ahead and hit back to summary. I'm going to go ahead and hit accept and install now. All right, now the installation is complete, and I'll leave it up to you whether you want to join the customer experience program. Uh, you can also choose to just remind yourself later. Uh, you will have to do a restart. I'm going to go ahead and restart later. One last thing to do on the server side is we're going to want to make sure that the firewall is open for the ports that we need for communication. To do that, I'm going to open up the Windows firewall and advanced security. And on the inbound rules and outbound rules, we'll need to do this for both. I'll do one to show you. I'm going to choose new rule, and I'm going to do it through a specific port. I'm going to do a TCP, and the ports that we need are 1433, comma, space, 1434, 26666 through 26672. We're going to allow the connection. I'm going to choose next. Through all three, choose next. And I typically give this a name that uh, you'll recognize, something like SWE underscore inbound. And hit finish. You'll want to do the exact same thing for the outbound rules. This is only if you have the Windows firewall active. Last thing to note is you're going to want to go to the location that you had your SWE data. And you're going to notice that SOLIDWORKS Electrical has populated this with some information. You're going to want to know the UNC path of this folder. So if you right click and choose properties under sharing, this folder will be, need to be shared amongst other groups and any users who are going to use SOLIDWORKS Electrical. So go ahead and share that folder and then go ahead and grab the UNC path. I'm going to go ahead and share this with everyone. Once this is shared, you'll see that we have our UNC path right here. You can go ahead and copy this and you can put it on a, a text file for later use. All right, now we're over on the client side. We're going to fire off the installation manager the exact same way that we did over on the server. And again, I'm going to right click and choose run it as administrator. We're going to choose individual and hit next. Make sure your serial number is in there. Hit next. Under products, we can hit change. You can choose to install SOLIDWORKS if you want. Uh, in this scenario, we're only going to install Electrical 2D. Under electrical options, hit change. And this data location is going to be the shared folder that you shared on the server. So hit browse and let's type in the full UNC path. I actually have this saved on a notepad file. The collaborative server is going to be the server name as well. And then our SQL server we want to use an existing server and you, you can actually hit browse and browse for this and we'll hit back to summary at this point you're going to go ahead and accept the terms of SOLIDWORKS and hit install now alright now once the installation is complete 
we can go ahead and uncheck what's new in 2016 and again I'll leave this up to you whether you want to join the customer experience program go ahead and hit finish and now let's go ahead and open SolidWorks Electrical you might be prompted to activate here and it's connecting to the server once you're presented with the data update window go ahead and hit next you can look at all these if you want otherwise you can come up here to the top right and you can scroll through till you hit finish and then finally you can go ahead and hit this last finish button this is going to do a data update on the server this needs to be done one time by one client uh, all the rest of the clients will not have to do this update once the data update is complete you will see a report here you can go ahead and just hit finish right here once that's complete you'll be presented with the projects manager and you're good to start using SolarWorks Electrical.